Hello again, Lauren and Russell Mark here on behalf of the Australian Clay Target Association. Once you've determined your dominant eye and you've sorted your stance out, it's then important to mount the gun correctly to your shoulder. We'll make the assumption that your shotgun fits you reasonably well because if it doesn't, it may be impossible for you to mount it to your shoulder consistently. Whatever discipline you may shoot, once your shotgun is correctly mounted to your shoulder, your head, when firmly placed on the stock, should see two things. First of all, your master eye should be aligned perfectly down the centre of the barrel. And just as importantly, when you're looking down the centre of the barrel, your eyes should be parallel to the horizon. To get your head in this position, you must try and mount your gun high enough on your shoulder so you don't dip your head too far forward, therefore causing you to look through the top part of your eyes. A poor mount like I just described will look like this. Rolling your head is just as bad as looking through the top of your eyes. Rolling your head on the stock will look like this. You must try and hook the comb of your shotgun underneath your cheekbone to gain a consistent mount. If you were leaving the range today to drive home and you were driving with your head on the side like this or looking through the tops of your eyes like that, then there's a good chance you may run off the road and kill somebody or, or yourself. If you can't drive with your head bent over on the side, why on earth do you think you can shoot clay targets like that? A good gun mount will help you set your head on the stock correctly and therefore let you acquire the target quickly and accurately. I rate using your eyes correctly and target acquisition is two of the most important fundamentals in all forms of clay target shooting, but you can't get this mastered until you have your gun mounted sorted out. The two issues are very closely related. As a rule of thumb, you should try and get the top of your recoil pad reasonably close to being parallel to the top of your shoulder. This will help you keep your head up and more importantly, let you look through the center of your eyes. And if the length of your stock is correct, then your nose should be about 20 to 25 millimeters behind your thumb. These are just rough rules of thumb but they should help get you started with your gun mount. Practice this at home and before long you will get it mastered. Don't underestimate the importance of a good solid gun mount when you are placed under pressure. Lauren just hit on it. Keep it simple. Over complicating your gun mount will cause you a ton of grief in the long run. On behalf of the Australian Clay Target Association we hope you've benefited from this little video.